Hi guys, it's Lath from Access Real. Um, we're here at Supernova, supported by Independence Day, which is out in cinemas now. And we're talking to Stefan Kopacic. Yep. How are you going? How's Supernova going for you? It's going awesome. Yeah. Meeting so many amazing people here, having a really great time in Australia generally. So I yeah. love it. I is really it the love first it. time out here? Yeah, yeah, it is. That was my one of my wishes, you know, bucket list things. Oh, okay. So I did it. Tick it off. But I'm this but I'm gonna come back definitely. Okay. Because I'm enjoying definitely. Now, having a, having a look at your filmography so far, you've got a pretty massive body of work behind you. Have, yes. Is there some projects that kind of stand, stand out in mind that, are, that you've got fond memories of or some uh, really cool things that you got to do on camera? Uh, well, generally, I'm really proud of my theatre career mm. because I'm a theatre actor. First of all, I finished Academy of Dramatic Arts in Belgrade, which is one of the well-known schools in Eastern Europe. And, but generally, like, well, Deadpool, first of all, that's like the biggest thing I did. Well, it's like highest grossing, all right, the movie of all time. Yeah. But there are like a few things that I'm really proud of, for example, like Big Miracle with Drew Barrymore, mm -hmm. uh, 24, which I was like a huge fan. Yeah, yeah. So, and I had like opportunity to be killed by Jack Bauer, <laughs> you know, he killed me with an ax. Yeah. And I'm really proud of that, my death in the yeah, TV show. Yeah. So you like those the like the physicality of the huh? you like the physicality of that sort of role. And, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I love that. I, I was a big fan of Twenty Four. So, yeah. You know. And how did the um, how did those sort of opportunities in in like U.S. shows come up? Well, you've done a lot of work in Europe. And yeah, I, w I was like doing a lot of things, and I'm like kind of really well known in in ex Yugoslavia in that region. But I did like a movie called uh, first of all I was doing a movie uh, called uh, The Brothers Bloom. With yes. Rachel Weiss and Ryan Adrian Johnson. Brody by Ryan Johnson, yeah. who is currently doing Star, Star Wars, Wars that's and right. he's filming it in Croatia, which is kind of interesting, yeah. in Dubrovnik. So after that, I got a role in a movie produced by Luc Besson called Tears for Sale, mm -hmm. and that was what one of the like tickets to the United States. So I just came, and then I started working on lots of cool TV shows as a guest star role. Okay. As I said, like Twenty Four Unit, Numbers, The Event. Yeah. But unfortunately, then the recession came, and all the you know. Bad things happened in the mm. States, so I just went back for like a few years, and in like two years I did more than 15 projects, yeah, and TV, okay. movies, Good theater, that yeah, that, that, was, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. And then that pool happened, so I just came back like a year ago, yeah. and everything's doing, you know, going perfect. And um, I've, I've read online that the Deadpool audition was quite an extensive process. Is that true? Was that quite a long? Yes. Yeah. yeah because I was that? I was doing a uh, in Dubrovnik. I was doing a mm. theater performance of Romeo and Juliet, and we were preparing another performance in Montenegro. So I just got like you know my sides, and I didn't know what I'm going for because it was top secret yeah. thing, you know. So I was just like you know self taping myself and sending it back to Los Angeles. So after the first one, they called me back, you know, so gave me some new indication. They changed the names on those sides. Right. And then me as a comic book geek, when they said, like, there, there's no more Timur, now that's Wade, you should say Wade, and there's only Wade Wilson in yeah, the comic yeah, universe. Yeah. So I was like, oh, my goodness, I'm going for, like, Deadpool, and my character was supposed to have a Russian accent, so and he's, like, good guy, so yeah. the only guy that I can think about was Colossus. Colossus, yeah. So that was like a dream come true for me, but I was yeah. still, I didn't get the role. So in one moment they called me and they said like, we want to fly you in. Okay. And I have just like a three day gap. Mm. And I was like, okay, let's, let's do it. So I was traveling one whole day. I came uh, to Los Angeles, went to Fox Studios, met Tim Miller, all mm. the writers, producers. Yeah. And I was like, I was, I couldn't believe that's happening to me. Yeah. <laughs> so it was supposed to go like for four hours. But Tim liked my voice, and he was like, he already started like you know doing the lines for the movie, so we were working for like nine hours in a row, and then I just sat back on the plane, went to to Montenegro. I I, I landed two hours before my theater performance, okay. so that was unbelievable. You know, I, I, it was just like a dream. Yeah, totally yeah. like a dream. You yeah. know, because I was you know it, uh, putting my costume on, and I was like, oh my god. It, it, this really happened mm. or no? So yeah. a few weeks later, they called me and they told me I booked the role. I'm Colossus. So yeah. Did you then did you revisit what they'd done with Colossus on screen before or did you just make decide to make it your own thing from, from the start? Tim Miller wanted something totally different yeah. from the Colossus that was appearing in uh, X-Men franchise, first yeah. of all, because Daniel Cudmer, the guy who played Colossus before, is a good actor, 
but I didn't like the way they did the classes. Now, Tim, Tim didn't like that because that yeah. wasn't like classes that we know from the comic books. Yeah, yeah. That was more like a Terminator 1000 version of Colossus, mm. which is like silver skin. Yeah. Much more, it looked more like a silver surfer than it looked like Colossus. Mm. Because Colossus is supposed to be like a huge, you know, yeah. gentle giant, yeah. you know, not like, you know, normal height guy just yeah. with silver skin. Yeah. Because that's a superpower. Mm. So. So they're not reinvented for... Of course. For people, yeah. And fans love Colossus. Yeah. X-Men fans, they adore Colossus the way he, he is done. And, and plus, the Colossus in X-Men franchise have the American accent, mm. Mm. which don't work at all. Yeah. You know, Colossus should, you know, he should have like accent like Russian accent. He's yeah, Russian. Russian in the comics, of course. Yeah. And he's not like an actor trying to like get an like, American accent. He's not American. Mm. So people love that. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, now you're on record as being a comic book fan yourself. Uh, what, what attracts you to comics, and what are some of the favorite comics you've read? Oh my God, I'm. I'm if you want, you don't want to let me, you know, <laughs> because I can like talk like days and days. But if I have to be, do you, do you have any favorite um, specific story arcs? Of course, I'm a huge fan of Alan Moore. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Frank Miller. Yeah. Um, for characters, I'm, I, I love Punisher, for example. That's yeah. one of my favorite comic books when I was a kid. I love yeah. X-Men. Yeah. But generally, I love Preacher. I love, you know, all the works from, like, Warren Ellis, you know, Goth Ennis. Those are, like, you yeah. know, those, those guys are genius. Yeah, it's amazing. They yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, um, Deadpool was really well received. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pretty likely it's going to continue. Have you got any insight in terms of what might be happening for Colossus? Uh, as a matter of fact, I know that, you know, if, if Colossus is in the sequel, because they are, like, working on a script right now, right. writers. So it's going to be, like, over soon. Uh, so if Colossus is in the sequel, I'm going to be Colossus mm -hmm. because I'm locked as Colossus in, yeah. in, in this universe. And I'm praying for that. Mm -hmm. And I'm praying that I'm going to be in my, you know, if I can be, like, in a human form. Yeah. So because it would be cool, you know, you don't want to have like another actor, so I have like to voice over the actor in yeah. his human form. So you know yeah. it'll be kind of cool stupid. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm just hoping like everything is going to be perfect as it was in the you know, first part. So. Yeah. Great. Well, um, I hope that happens. Hope yeah. There's a sequel. Hope you're in it. Uh, thanks. The sequel very is much. green lighted. Yep. Yeah, it okay. is. It's in the so works. It's just, so it's yeah. just like the question is the class is going to be in the sequel or not? Yeah, but okay. we're going to know that right. soon. Fingers crossed. Yeah. All right. Thanks for talking to us. Hope thanks. you have a great supernova. Thanks so much. Thank it's you. a pleasure. Thank you.